Hello everyone, been getting a lot of requests on how to get into Windows XP if you forgot the password. Now, first off, you'll see Control-Alt-Delete. This won't always pop up, but sometimes it will. And that'll bring you to the login page. Now let's try and log in. Don't know what the password is. Nope, not happy. So what can we do? Go in here, delete this, and type in Administrator with a capital A. Capital A D M I N I S T R A T O R. Hit enter and that'll log us in. Now, from here, once it loads up, we can go down to the start bar, come up here to where it says administrator, click on this little picture, and that'll give us access to our user accounts. Now, we click home up here. Go to change an account. And as you see, we have Past Preserver on here. That's the one I've been wanting to get into. We can change your name. We can change your password. We can remove the password. We're just going to change your password. Go ahead and type a new one in. Type it again to confirm it. And then you can put a hint in there too. And it should look something like that. We'll go ahead and confirm it. And ta-da. Now we'll go ahead and log off and see if we can log on with that password. Now, if your administrator account happens to have a password, we will go on to that in a minute. I must have hit shut down. I could have sworn I hit log off. We'll have to look back on the video. <laughs> oh, well, here we go. All right, let's see if our password worked. Hey, we're in. As you can see, we have extra folders and stuff because this is my personal account on this laptop. Now let's go into if you can't get into the administrator. Might be at risk, it's XP, I figure it is. For this step, you're gonna need a CD or a flash drive and another computer with internet connection. Whether you're going to flash drive or the CD route, we're gonna need Live Boot Full. What you wanna do is come to Google, type in Live Boot Full, I'll leave a link below. Internet Archive seems to be the best spot to get this ISO. And here's what it looks like. We'll go scroll down, and we wanna download the ISO image right there. So click that, you'll start downloading. If you wanna go the USB route, type in Rufus ISO to USB, there'll be a link below. And then you wanna click on this, Rufus Create U Bootable USB Drive. We'll scroll down. And all I did was get the standard one, Windows X64, go ahead and download that. And just like that, under our download tab, we have Live Boot Full and Rufus both downloaded. So what we wanna do with Live Boot Full, if we have a CD in, is right click, go down to Sin 2, and then we wanna pick our DVD, RW, and, well, I already have it on there with this, but it would normally burn all that information to a disk. As you can see, it's already on there. See the written file and then the unburned part of the disk? Now, if we're using Rufus, we're going to need a clean flash drive. We'll go ahead and open Rufus up. It'll probably ask, oh, do you want to? It's not safe. Yes. Go ahead and use it. It's fine. Do you want it to check for updates? No, we shouldn't need updates for what we're doing. Okay, device, let me plug this in. Oh, second try. I thought I had Linux on that flash drive, so select your flash drive. Go ahead and hit select down here. Then we want live boot full. Make sure it's for an ISO image it's looking for. Right there, ISO. And we'll go ahead, come down here and hit start. Now I got an error because there's already stuff on there. It wants to format the flash drive. So we'll go ahead and do that. That's about, must be eight gigs worth of stuff. I don't know how big that is. And now it's gonna go through and do its thing. All right, now our flash drive's ready. And now it's set up as live boot full. Okay, now we have both our flash drive and our CD made up. We're gonna come to the back and plug in our flash drive right here. Let's see how many tries this takes. Hey, hey, first try. I better go buy a lotto ticket. Power on the Dell. And what really stinks is on a laptop, well, I guess any computer, you gotta have the thing powered up to get your CD drive in. We'll go ahead and throw the CD in. 
and we missed our mark. We're gonna have to reboot the computer now. Okay, now get ready, because as soon as you go to start this computer, when you see the first splash screen, in one of these corners, it's gonna tell you what the boot button is. So it might take a couple tries to figure it out. And we have boot menu, F12. Now that we saw boot menu is F12, we're gonna hit the power button and just smash on F12 for a bit. And there we go. We have internal HHD, that would just boot us normally in the Windows, USB, CD, DVD, ROM drive. I guess we'll go ahead and try the USB drive out. Okay, press any key, boot from USB. Here we go, loading Windows files. That was about five minutes of dedication for that quick clip. <laughs> Leave a like, hit subscribe. This can do a few different cool things. You can get data recovery, Windows recovery, disk management. But what we want is passwords and key finder. Go ahead and hit view details on that. We have admin password resetter. And we want to pick, yep, Windows XP, select target user. And it will give us a few different ones and we want to click Administrator. And this will let us log in to Administrator with having no password below it. And then we can go in and mess with our users like we did at the beginning of the video. So rewind, rewatch that, and leave a like. Hit subscribe for more. Because that's about all there is to this video. Go ahead and hit reset. Okay, are you sure? Yep. Are you sure you want to reset the password? Yep. It's reset to a blank slate. And we're done. Go ahead, start, shut down, take out your flash drive or your CD drive and go ahead and reboot the computer as normal. And you can do what we did at the beginning of the video. I ought to do another video on this about what all live boot can do, but that'll do it for this. Go ahead and start, shut down. Take out our USB drive. Reboot. Start Windows normally. And Administrator. Ta-da! Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, start. Click your little icon here. User accounts, go ahead and click on home, change an account. We want pass preserver, we want to change the password. That's how you do it. Basically, you got to unlock one to get to the rest. So if there's anything else you want to know about Live Boot or maybe other Windows XP things, I can definitely look it up and try making a video on it. I did this in a short. Everyone wanted me to make a long-term video of this and kind of go in more in detail. I don't know if this does that very well. That's why I made it a short. <laughs> Hello, doggy. But we're uh, gonna call this a video and let me know if there's anything else you wanna see done. <laughs> I wish I had a little better format to do it in other than just pointing the camera at the uh, screen. This is about the best I can do with XP and I don't really have screen capture software to do this and I, I don't know. That just sounds like a lot of extra work, especially with trying to reboot things and shutting it off, turning it on. But anyway, I will see you in the next one. Like for the third time I've done this outro. <laughs> And for anyone wondering, if you chose the CD route, you just click on CD, DVD, drive instead of USB.